Greetings, everyone, and a very warm welcome to another edition of Marketing the Invisible. I'm Tom Poland, beaming out to you from the Sunshine Coast of Australia, joined today by Gail Doby. Gail, a very warm welcome from down under. Where are you hanging out? In Denver, Colorado. Ooh, it sounds nice. Starting to warm up now? We're actually, we're past the snow, so we're very happy. <laughs> right. This will rain. For a while. So, mm -hmm. um, Folks, in addition to living in Denver, Colorado, Gail is the author of the book, Your Creative Value Blueprint to Get Paid What You're Worth. She helps designers, architects, and other creators increase profitability by multiples up to five times and even more. Uh, one such person said 512%, which is pretty freaking amazing. So the title today is How to Sell Your Value in a competitive market. Uh, Gail, our seven minutes starts now. Question number one, who is your ideal client? Well, I think you said it, and it's creative entrepreneurs, typically interior designers, lighting designers, architects. And the key is they're wanting to grow their businesses, scale it, and also achieve more profit, more wealth, more time off, and hopefully a well-oiled business on top of that. Perfect. Thank you for that. So question two, I've got six and a half minutes left. What, how would you define the problem that you solve for these folks? I think the root cause of most of the problems we deal with with our clients is a lack of clarity. And they don't know what they want to achieve and they don't have a plan that is attached to that particular idea of clarity. So we help ah. them achieve a certain plan, a system, a process, build a team, set financial goals, and also build a business model that will help them achieve their goals. Something that's systemized and scalable and brings in predictable, high-quality results. Because I imagine a lot of your folks would be just relying on word of mouth and, you know, sort of missing that predictability or certainty around their, their results. Exactly. Would that be right? It, yeah, it would be happens. absolutely correct, yes. So, so let's let's move on then. Question three is, and we've got just five and a half minutes left, plenty of time. In addition to just sort of relying on word of mouth and wishing and hoping and praying, what would you say are some of the typical symptoms that your ideal clients are experiencing before finding a solution? I love that question. Actually, most of them that come to us say they're stuck or they're overwhelmed or they're not achieving the goals that they were looking for. And I think there are a few others as well. They're, they tend to be on a roller coaster of client leads. And you know all about that with your business. Right. Um, and they, with that, they get a roller coaster of financial results, a lot of fear, chaos. Yeah, a lot of they're fear. They're busy. They're not productive. They have a lot of anxiety. They're overworked. And I think grumpy would be a good word for it at the end. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Okay, thank you for that. Um, I, I, remember, I remember those days. <laughs> <laughs> it's just not a fun place to be. Um, so, folks, if, if that sounds like you, keep listening up because we're coming up with a solution at two questions time. Sure. But before we get there, Gail, question four and four and a half minutes left, what are some of the common mistakes that your, your clients tell you that they made prior to finding you? Well, I think one thing is they think that if they work more, they're going to solve their problem. And that is never the right solution. So that mm. if they think that that's going to do it, it won't do it. And right. I think that if you look at the root cause again, it's that reactive versus proactive. And they get into the mode of looking at their cell phone in the morning and that determines their plan uh -huh. for the day, which right. means that they're not really very productive. So yeah. those are right. a couple of the issues that I see happening with a lot of our clients. Proactive versus reactive, that sums it up really well. And um, so you also find that some of them make the mistake of thinking that they just have to cut their prices. Well. You know, they might, but that's not a good answer. That's in fact, that's a poor answer. Most of the time we want them to raise their rates because that right. helps them attract the right people to their business. So, and so, so we tell them to do probably the opposite of whatever they're thinking they should do. And <laughs> well, that's that kind of makes sense. I mean, yeah, what they've done is got them to where they are and they don't like where they are, so they should probably do something different. Uh, that's well, very interesting. Thing. Very interesting. So what you're saying is that you can act, you know, in some cases you'd be attracting less clients with cheaper prices than you all with higher prices. So let's, um, let's go to question five, just over three minutes left. What's uh, one valuable free action that someone could take that's not going to solve the whole solution? They might need to work with you for that, but at least it might start them in the right direction. I think there are two things I'd like to share. 
The first one is take only ideal clients. And if you don't know who those people are, we have a free resource that we'll share at the end. Okay. And also the second thing is to market when you're the busiest. And I tell my clients that you need to have at least 10 hours of marketing a week. And if you're not doing that, either you or someone on your team or you're outsourcing, then you are going to have a roller coaster ride. Mm. It will not be a lot of fun. It'll be very wow. stressful. Wow. Can be, can be a lot of fun uh, mm -hmm. at the top, but when you're screaming down uh, revenue-wise, not not so much the anxiety. So let's exactly. let's go on to question six, which is the valuable free resource. Where can people go to find out more about what you've just been what just been talking about now? What what's the URL you can give us? Well, it's really simple. It's galedobe.com forward slash Poland, like your name. And it's a great toolkit. It has four different tools in it, one of which is the ideal client profile. It doesn't matter what kind of business you're in. You should have this for your business and have it well right. identified. It will make sure you get the right kind of people attracted to you. There's actually a lot on that page, folks. It's, it's Gail Doby, D-O-B-Y dot com, slash Poland with one L, same as the country, next to Russia. Um, and um, actually next to Ukraine, I should say. <laughs> Uh, but let's not go there at the moment. Um, determine your pricing precisely and confidently. Select from multiple profit options. Eliminate guesswork. Calculate your design fee. Uh, so yes, your design fee per square foot. There's an awful lot there. GailDerby.com for slash Poland. 90 seconds left, Gail. What's the one question I should have asked you but didn't? <laughs> well, I think this is a, a great question that I would love to have you ask, but I'll, I'll ask it for you. What Thank is you. the reason most people don't reach their financial goals? And what is the reason why most people don't reach their financial goal? I would tell you that a hands down, 100%, it is mindset and fear. And the reason that a lot of people never get past where they are at this very moment and they don't get the results that they want is that they're afraid of spending money on themselves because they look at that as an expense instead of mm. something that will return money to them many times over. Fantastic. Gail Derby, really appreciate your, your wisdom and your insights and, and your generous share. Folks, get your butts over, digital butts over to gaildoby.com for slash P-O-L, A-N-D. Gail, thanks again. Thank you so much, Tom. Thanks for checking out our Marketing the Invisible podcast. If you like what we're doing here, please head over to iTunes to subscribe, rate us, and leave us a review. It's very much appreciated. And if you want to generate five fresh leads in just five hours, then check out www.5hourchallenge.com.